Well, hello everyone. Welcome to part two of this tutorial on how to put together a publish uh, a publisher a calendar planner inside of Microsoft Publisher. That's hard to say early in the morning, apparently. All right, we're gonna dive right in. In part one, if you missed it, by the way, the link is in the description. Part one, we set up the month view. Hello, there we go. You can see month view pop up there. Very good, which is our B master. Our A master we're going to leave blank. Today we're going to be working on our C master, which is the week view. And so once again, just like we did inside of our B master, um, I'm going to go ahead and modify uh, where these lines are at. Bring this up to close to a quarter inch. Move this over. And notice that everything we do on this page is reflected on the other page. And we're going to leave the gutter at a half inch away from the center. All right. So now that we've got that done, I'm going to jump over to page design and we're going to look at the margins. I'm going to go down to custom, just see where these are at. Uh, I can see that they're off just a tiny bit. That should be 0.25. There we go. We'll go ahead and say OK. Good. Perfect. Now once again, we're going to grab an image and we're going to design over top of it because we already found a calendar planner that we really liked the design of. And we're just basically recreating the calendar part of it. We'll get creative with some of the spaces like this empty space over here. We're going to get creative with that later, but right now we just want to get the basics on the page. So let's go over to the insert tab, say pictures. We're going to browse out to the folder where our pictures are at. There we go. All right, and we want the week view. This is what we're looking for. All right, very good. And I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out so it is the size of the page. There we go. Awesome. That's looking good. Now basically all we want to copy off of here is going to be week of this black background and then each one of the days along with just a little black circle and the lines that are all in place. That's it. So this is going to be hopefully pretty quick. So the first thing we're going to do, I think what one of the things I might do on this one is I'm going to recolor this image. Um, I want to go in and make it really light so that we can actually see what we're doing over top of it. All right, so diving right in, let's go to the Home tab. We're going to go to the Shapes and we're going to use a rounded, uh, there we go, a rounded rectangle. So for this, I just want the cursor to line up with the top and the bottom. And we're going to stretch that out. And look at that. It's almost perfect. I'm going to go ahead and let go. Shape fill, we want no fill. Shape outline is black, which is great. And we're going to go to format auto shape. And right now, it's align showing that the width is two points. I think we can get away with one. So there we go. We get down to a, a little bit thinner line there. Yeah, let's change that. Let's go to 1.5. Two is a little too much. One seems to be a little bit thin. 1.5 looks perfect. We also need a circle up here in the corner. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, uh, so back to the Home tab, Shapes, grab us a circle. Once again, if we line the top of the cursor up with the top of the circle and the side of the circle, when we drag it out, it's going to, should make it exactly the same size. I'm also going to hold down the Shift key so that we get a perfectly round circle. Notice if I let go of the Shift key, it, it warps all over the place gives us an oval holding down the shift key gives us a perfect circle so we're going to just move that in a little bit 
Uh, for the shape fill, we're going to go with an 85%. Uh, what is that? 75? 85. 85% gray? No, it's 75. Whatever. And for the outline, we are going to say no outline. Um, and we can actually go ahead and change the text here so that it says Monday um, because that will be, uh, the text will be okay on, on each one. They're going to stay the same on all of them. All right. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and get the lines in. And how I'm going to do that is from the Home tab, I'm going to create a table. And I think we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we could probably do like, let's do seven, six. We'll do six by one. We're going to shrink that up a bit. Whoops. Grab the table and pull it in here. and stretch it out and also move it come on what's going on here move this up there it is okay it's not wanting to go in for me so I think what I need to do is actually select these lines go back to the home tab and we're going to make the font size smaller doesn't seem to be making a difference using a different version of publisher than I'm used to there we go all right all right I think I figured it out finally 0.5 there we go goodness so there are the lines now so let's go through that again real quick um, with the table selected I needed to go format table make sure that uh, the only thing set was um, the middle lines and the bottom lines so I had to turn off everything first and then set the color and the transparency to zero. All right, we'll cancel out of that. And we now have those lines in there. So now we can go ahead and put in a text box real quick. Sorry, it's early on a Monday morning, my goodness. I'm gonna make the text box go all the way across because as you can see, Wednesday's a lot longer than Monday. And since we've been using Arial Black for everything else. We're going to stick with Arial on this. And I think we're going to jump up to 14 point. Ooh, maybe even bigger. Monday. So let's go ahead and select that. And we're going to bump it up until it's about the same size. So it looks like it's going to be um, 20 point. So now, with our uh, cursor out here off the page, I'm going to click and drag. Watch this. This is pretty cool. Click and drag over top of all of these. I'm going to hold down the Control and Shift key at the same time. And we're going to drag everything down to Tuesday. Bam. And then keep, continue to hold down the Control and the Shift key. We're going to drag it down again to Wednesday. Bam. And then we're going to drag uh, again, this time just holding the control key. We don't want to hold the shift this time because we want it to go to the next page. We're going to let that go. And then once again, holding down control shift, drag that down here to Friday. Bam. And I don't, I'm not concerned that they're not exact, everything is not exact. We'll get to it here in a minute. Now we can come in here to Monday and get in Tuesday. Woot! Okay. With that done, we just got to get Saturday and Sunday in here so we can actually use everything that's already here. I'm going to go ahead and once again, we're going to select all of that. 
I'm going to see if this works real quick. I'm going to slide over here with everything selected. I'm going to squeeze this in and see what happens. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So we will have to recreate this shape, but otherwise everything else came in pretty good. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we can pull in this just a little bit further. Okay. So now we can move this into place here for Saturday. Whoops. We do want that to all stay selected here as we move it in. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. We're going to move this up. We might have to redo this table. We'll see. See if we can get it to work here. If I use uh, the tab or the um, with that thing selected, if I use the arrow keys up and down, we can actually move things a little bit slower. You can see that Monday is now kind of hiding in behind there. So what we can do with that is we can go out here to the uh, design tab. Actually, I think it's under layout. Let's take a look. Yes, under layout, here is the wrap text, and we can say none. Okay, <clears throat> after playing around for a bit, I have discovered what is wrong. And it was not anything to do with the table. It's actually because I shrunk this text box too much. So now we can see that Saturday is, is showing up. We need to copy one of these circles, so I'm going to hold down Control and Shift, grab the circle, pull it down here to the 13, right over top of that, and now, once again, with our cursor off the page, we can select all of these items, hold down Control and Shift at the same time, click and drag, bring this over here for Sunday. And whoops, I hit the cap locks a second ago. There we go. We got Sunday in place. Now we just need this little bit up here. So to do that, back to the Home tab, Shape Tool, Rounded Rectangle. You know the drill by now. Drag that out. That's where the months are going to go. Shape fill, 75% gray, 85% gray, whatever, however much that is. Um, no outline, good, awesome. Go back home, draw in a text box. We need to get week of right here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and center that up. So we can move it into place here in a minute. And we are going to use Arial Black for this. Uh, 10 point, I think, will be fine. Look at that. It's almost perfect. We might go up to 11 point. Perfect. All right, now we just need the line tool in a nice thick, it looks like maybe ooh, four pixels, maybe three pixels wide. So we're going to go to the Home tab, Shape, Line Tool. We're going to start at the beginning of the line, hold down our Shift key, and when we let go, bam, there's the line. We can format the shape. Right now it's at two. Remember I said I think it's probably three. Uh, we'll go with three. We can bump it into place really easily with the arrow keys. We can hold down the control key to copy it. So we click and drag. Put that one down here. 
And we're going to leave the uh, 8th through the 14th out of there because once again we're only putting elements that are going to be the same on every single page. There is the next month or the month that we're in, sorry, the month we're in calendar is right here in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and make that shape, rounded rectangle, and we drag that out. We can wait till it actually bumps up into the blue here in just a minute. All right, shape fill, no fill, outline, 85% gray. Format the shape, and right now it's at two points. I think we're okay at 1.5. Same as everything else on the page. Okay. Now we're going to leave some of these spots open, so like this area here, we're going to go ahead and leave that open in case we want to place anything in there later. Uh, we're also going to leave this space down here open so we can put in some little quote graphics and things like that. Um, and we'll leave this little side space open as well, uh, just in case we want to drop anything, any notes or anything in there. But for now we've got everything we need on here. Whoops, I can see a problem right now. Um, when I copied this, I didn't create a copy or else I dragged out the one that was already there. Okay, we can now delete out the picture from the background and we are done setting up our master page. Um, I'm noticing an issue here with the bottom. This should be right there. We go ahead and grab all of these and move them up a little bit because if we were to print that right now, um, this would be getting cut off the bottom. We've got a quarter inch down here. The printer is not going to print that area. So we want to get that out of there. For this, we're going to put it right up in the corner. And all of this is fine. OK, so let's go ahead and close our master page. We're going to go back out to our calendar. And we're going to go ahead and apply that master page now. So if we are looking at the month view, and I know the uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are not showing up over here, but I did try printing the calendar and it showed up fine. So there's just a glitch in Publisher right now that's not showing them, but they really are there. Trust me, they're there. All right, so we're going to apply the B master page. So we just right click um, on pages four and five and we go down to master and do, I'm sorry, C, not B. Uh, we apply our week view and it immediately puts everything on the page for us once again those little gray dotted lines you're seeing in the background those are not going to print I will test it just to verify but they are not going to print they're just showing me that there's a table there um, and we're ready to actually start putting some stuff on the page that's as far as we are going today uh, in part three, we will actually start putting this thing together. We'll start um, applying multiple pages, master pages to multiple different pages, and actually putting the dates and things in, uh, throwing some quote graphics and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you drop them in the comments below before the end of this week. It is currently uh, March 6th. 2017. I will probably hit this again next Monday. So between now and Monday, which is going to be March 13th, if you have any questions or anything you want me specifically to go over in the next tutorial, make sure you drop by and ask your questions. Drop them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more updates, okay? See you guys next time. Peace.